so uh, with Mr. Uh, Trump and, and uh, his staff, the focus uh, went away from trying to figure out, well, how do we get agreement with, um, let's say, Iran, Russia, or China? Uh, the um, statement, I think, by Secretary Mattis in his just released uh, document on national uh, defense strategy was that, well, we've ignored the need to keep up to compete. And he argues that unless you can compete, um, you, you don't even know where you're most able and best uh, advised to cooperate. Um, now, this seems a little perverse for most of us. Um, but I always like to point out, <clears throat> having worked in an office that promoted competitive strategy, which is a business school idea from Harvard, I might have, uh, that does anybody here um, uh, have a wife or uh, a uh, or a husband or a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Any of you? And one hand goes up. Two, three, four. Okay. My wife even volunteers that she does. This is a good sign. Um, well, whenever you try to go out to dinner, do you ever notice that there sometimes is a discussion? Yeah. Not always, but by the way, if, if you are perfectly mated, you don't have that discussion, I guess. But, but if you have a third party, maybe, maybe a friend that's involved in the decision, there's a little bit of discussion. That's an instance where they're not enemies, but you have to kind of make the case for where you're going to go out to dinner to win. And so it's, it's not a bad thing to have some clarity about the food establishments in Utah and make your case. You might have a better dinner. Um, Big piece of advice, you want to stay friendly, don't push it too hard. Uh, in any case, you don't have to assume people are going to go to World War III to make the statement that competing and cooperating are somehow related. It's a different way of looking at things, but it, it's plausible. Anyway, uh, having made that apology, the, the argument is, well, everyone else is on the march. You'll notice I focused on missiles for the reason we'll get to in a moment, um, Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, we need to make sure they don't get out too far ahead of us, that our security requires us first to compete. All right? So that's, the, that's a little bit different than how can we figure out how to get to agreements with everyone. So it's a different emphasis. Um, now, I might add, uh, in the Mattis document at least, he says, well, we need to give our diplomats leverage so that they can get agreements. So it's not like there's a, a total dismissal of the diplomatic, at least in some of these documents. Yeah? Um, well, actually in all of them, in all fairness. There's, there's a concession made to diplomacy in every, every one of them. The, the uh, national security uh, document, the national defense document, and the nuclear posture review document all make a tip uh, in the direction of diplomacy. In any case, well, uh, how do we compete? Well, one of the principal things that is said in all three of these documents that we must do is we have to modernize our nuclear missiles that are in the ground in places like Wyoming, and North Dakota. Uh, we need to make sure we have better submarines that can launch ballistic missiles. And we need to have better bombers and, and actually better bombs. Uh, we need to deploy these things in places like Qatar, South Korea, Japan, uh, also uh, you need to make sure that the North Koreans know they were serious so you fly bombers that you know could bomb them uh, and used to be actually carry nuclear bombs and, and could conceivably carry them. And then you have to keep your weapons that are forward deployed, forward deployed, even if they're in places, I have to say with, with a big question mark, like Turkey, <laughs> which is a rather sporty place to right now to leave nuclear weapons. Um, but in any case, uh, for what it's worth, they don't say Turkey, but they say Europe. And Turkey actually is part of Europe. Um, the other thing that they say is, well, you know, nuclear deterrence by doing this will persuade the South Koreas and Japans and the Turkeys not to get nuclear weapons. So it's kind of like a non-proliferation appeal they're making. This is interesting old one. Some truth to it. Actually, a lot of truth to it, uh, if you look at it historically. 
So they emphasize that. And then they say, well, if nuclear deterrence fails, we need to have better missile defenses. And so uh, we are working with the Japanese, the South Koreans, Europeans, and even the Saudis to get them more missile defenses and to work with them. Um, now, the, the book uh, that, again, no one read in Washington that sort of propels this thought is, is also an old book. Uh, and it's The Clash of Civilizations by uh, Samuel Huntington. Um, they're still available. I think you can get these for next to nothing on Kindle. They're worth reading. It shows that what goes on in the ivory tower ultimately has a very big impact on how we think about these things, even if the people doing the action have never read the book. 